Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and another £2 coin hunt. Now today we're on part 10 for album number 7. Now the last part, number 9, was the very first episode where we didn't find anything for the book. So we still need those four commonwealths. We still need a nearly centennial with a partial flag or a full flag error. Uh, if we don't get one, it's not really necessary. 2016 Britannia. And we've got everything up to and including the Great Fire of London. Uh, the 21 and the 22 Britannia. I don't think we're going to see the light of day. It's got a few territories in the back. Um, I think that one there was the last nearly centenary we got. And I think if I remember rightly, we, we did get the King James Bible at the same time. Right, so we've got a bag here, dear Liz. The 17th of April. Uh, today, as I recorded, it is the 21st of April, Sunday. I picked them up on Saturday the 20th. I mean, yeah, that's right. I only picked them out up a day ago. Uh, just uh, quickly look right round the bag. i show you everything is sealed. And that's on as well. And the seal there as well. Right, get the scissors. <clears throat> we'll get straight in. And just gotta quickly count the bags. That's one, two. Twenty four one makes twenty five. We've got our lucky tokens. So that's uh, the token that Dan made us good for a year ago and Gizmo that we got from Purple Fairy. Uh, we still have Big Bertha, who, as I've mentioned before, is too big to go on the mat, so she sits off to the side. Uh, we'll start with this one that's already on the mat. So apart from those that we need in the book, anything low minted, keepers, uh, look for 2010s for the double die obverse and any rotations. But the rotations and the double die will be checking after the hunt. There was nothing last week, uh, but we did get um, two very nice 1999s. First one today is Charles Dickens and up to now there's only three coins that I've found in every single hunt. One of which is Charles Dickens and the other two are Gunpowder Plot and World War One Centenary. Now I am compiling a chart of all the finds that we've got for uh, Album number seven, and if I re remember, I will add it to the end of the video so you can see how things are going. Just check the 2011, sometimes they can be fakes. Oh, by the way, I did find a fake last week, um, thanks to the uh, vigilance of Shaggy. He pointed out that he thought it was one of them was a fake. Now when I really uh, watched the video, he was quite right. Um, unfortunately, I'd already sent it back to the uh, the bank because it did look uh, pretty kosher to me. Uh, right, so there we go. So another one of the coins that we find every time. Uh, World War One centenary. Follow that up with the Shakespeare comedies. Quite a busy week in the Macram household. Uh, my youngest daughter Sarah and her boyfriend's busy planning on their move, and uh, they finally found out that uh, the completion date is going to be Friday coming. As you say, this video is another World War One centenary. No rotation on that one either. Check on the 
2007, that looked a bit suspect. Just moving that light round a bit. Yeah, so it's been all hands to the pumps this weekend. Uh, they've been packing everything away in boxes. Uh, we've got most of the stuff. <laughs> uh, well, there's our second Shakespeare. Shakespeare histories. So hopefully uh, we'll, they're only going to be there in the house, uh, for our house. Uh, I'll talk about the boxes here. For a short space of time when they went and get them all put back into the new house. That one there was the uh, Brunel Achievements, Archers at Paddington Station. And with any luck, I might, I might be on the move myself because uh, where I'm recording at the minute is a, is a bit awkward. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get me your room back just dumping stuff everywhere at the minute another comedies hey gunpowder plot so <laughs> all three that were found in every single hut hunt have turned up today as well. Florence Nightingale. It's um, 2010. It's only 2015. Let's check that while we're going through them. Slight wobble on that one, but uh, nothing to get interested about. Well, that's it, twenty ten. No, that's got no double die on that one. Coloration is the first thing. I think that's definitely a fake. Seems to be a lot of uh, things knocking around up in this part of the world. Shady characters. <laughs> right, looks like a bust with this one as well. I've actually got far too many shadows here at the minute because I've got the uh, curtains open. I usually sort of film a little bit later on in the evening. Close the curtains this time, so we might be getting a bit few shadows from various directions. Not for help. 
Portrait. So check Zimbard Kingdom Brunel. So that's the correct, the correct edge inscription. like a little apple <laughs> right nothing there either oh, I think I've gone through about 13 bags at the minute so I've got 12 to go up act for the abolition of the slave trade from 2007 it is the bubbly version not the BU version the Brunel achievements. Try to put on top of the Brunel pour it, which doesn't help. Something else there. I've seen uh, quite a few hunts of late where the finds have been virtually non existent. There's another 2010. And again, no double die obverse. Another act for the abolition of the slave trade. Possible that uh, most of the low minute commemoratives have already been taken out of circulation, I would think. Uh, another World War One Army centenary. DNA double helix coming up. I thought that had a rotation on it as well but it's fine and it's looking likely we're gonna have another week where we haven't found anything for the album. And there's nothing down the bottom end yet. And we're down to about seven or eight bags, I think. Oh. Richard Trevedic, same locomotive. And if you saw me uh Macam's Monday a mix on the 22nd because uh, this will be this video will be going up on the 28th um, St Paul's Cathedral end of World War Two yeah although I'm recording this on the 21st uh, I've just recorded the Mac and Monday mix for the 22nd and uh, I did mention about Richard Trevithick right next one I 
What a very nice colour that one. Dodgy 2011, well that's fine. <laughs> Nothing else. Let me centenary. The fake. Fakey fake 2014 this time. Uh, I think including these, I mean, out the last five hunts I've now found 12, 12 fakes. I mean, Sun and Coin once said it, uh, some people like to buy them. I usually just end up chopping them in the bin because they shouldn't be really be put back in the circulation. Maybe that's what I'm getting other papers, I don't know. Oh, I must have cut <laughs> the little curry bag here, I must have cut through the back as I opened the bag. Two pounds golden guinea. Got a fair different uh, spread of coins here. Also, he's still nothing to get excited about. Right, four bucks. Yeah, four bucks left. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Our Hunt Saviour, uh, World War One Navy, mintage is 650,000, and uh, fortunately, it hasn't got a flag on it, otherwise, that would have been going into the book. Well, definitely left it late there. Oh, I've got another different one for today. Uh, Marconi wireless transmission. That's the only thing with two pound coins, uh, you do tend to find a lot of fakes. Not so much 50 pence wise, I mean, we, you know, sometimes you get them from different countries and that, but not, not fakes. And I don't mind that because uh, they would go into the World Coin collection. You know, a few people have sort of said that they would rather do 50 pences than two pounds, and I must admit, I'm in the same. We're inclined because uh, very little now in the two pounds. You know, we don't get very many new coins put into circulation, commemorative wise. That is, when I mean, the last one we had was what 2016 with uh, Shakespeare's and Great Fire London and World War One. Ah, uh, well, this is the last bag, by the way, and looks like we'll run out of. Yeah, run out of coins, so there's nothing else there. Wow, well, tough going, but I uh, did find something of interest. World War One Navy. So that'll be going in. I'll probably put it back in the back of the book with the uh, the other one I found. Uh, so that's it for today, folks. So um, I'll probably put a chart on at the end of the video, show how many coins were found up to now. Um, but until the next time, keep on hunting, enjoy yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.